Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the mobile game tutorial. So, um, last episode we actually tackled the clamping left and right of this and also of the shop. What I'd like to do in this one is actually take care of the panels we see down here. Um, I've told her here that we'd like to do some kind of bronze, silver time stuff, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And we will be doing it right down here in the panel. Okay. So what I felt like doing is actually opening up Photoshop and creating some new borders. Now, as for the size, they don't have to be that big, so I was thinking about something like um, 256 by 64, and now we'll have three of them, so we'll do 64 times 3. 192, and here we go. So I'll be putting my three texture inside of that single um, rectangle one and let's go ahead and just do it. So the first border is going to be 256 by 64. Let's go ahead and measure that like we do. That's it right here. Paste any color in there and this is going to be, I'm going to rename the layer for um, bronze. So that's the bronze time or the I haven't completed the level time. Good, so here it is. And uh, let's go ahead and just change the color, find some kind of bronzish color, maybe like that, and paste it in here. I will duplicate that by hitting Ctrl J and then Ctrl T to move it down, snap it right beneath it. This is going to be the silver. Now change this for maybe this color, or oh, that's not a nice silver, let's use another, this one. Duplicate it once more, scale it down, not scale it down, but drag it down, and let's find the gold color, like so. Okay, I will save this PSD file somewhere in my folder, so I'll go inside of um, git mobile rb, okay, here's my uh, folder, and that's pretty much where I save my PSD file. It's not inside of my asset folder, it is just outside of it. So that's going to be the border textures. Okay, saving this as a PSD. Now I will save it as a PNG, so same thing, but we change the format to PNG. Now this I will save inside of my asset folder, so artwork, texture, and um, border texture. Great. Let's have a look in the game and we should be able to see them somewhere here. Texture, here they are. We will go ahead and convert that. So convert that into Sprite 2D NUI, Sprite Mode Multiple, and we will open them inside of the Sprite Editor. Slice it using the Grid by Cell Size, and now we know that this is 256 by 64. We hit Slice, close this off, Apply, and here we go bronze, silver, and then gold. Now if I had play on this and actually have a look, these are pretty much just prefabs. So if we go under prefab and we find our level button prefab, here they are, we can simply drag and drop one inside the level selection, inside of the level button container actually, so here it is. Now what we'll do is actually make sure that this, uh, this uh, bottom panel here uses one of our new texture like that but first off we will need to fix the alpha so as you can see the color over here is white and let's make sure that we crank up the alpha to 255 like that okay now once that is done we are going to go inside of our script and actually choose which color we put so back inside of our main menu we will start by creating we will start by creating inside of here a um, public array so let's do public sprite array that we'll call borders like so now let's go take a look what it gives us on the main menu script if I go over here um, where's the main menu over here we should have the border sprite array, so I'll be putting that on 3 and choose border underscore 0, border underscore 1, and border underscore 2. 
Now we just fill our area with these three texture and we can go ahead and assign them when we need it. So down here we check is the best time zero zero. If that's the case then that's mean that means we haven't completed the level yet. So we're gonna leave the uh, default panel if that is the case I think. Else and then we start doing the check. So else if and we do level dot best time is um is smaller than level dot gold time that means we've completed in the gold time so we'll do so we'll do put the gold border else if level dot best time is smaller than silver time which will mean we have completed um, in the silver time, so put the silver border, oops, silver border, like so, and else, it means we've completed the level, but, not else, if, um, else, that means we've completed the level, but we haven't beaten the silver time, so that's the bronze border, so put the bronze border, like so. Okay, so, um, we're going to we're going to need to get the uh, bottom panel reference i believe so so this is the object the level button prefab beneath it is the first children the first children is the bottom panel and i believe we have a reference to it somewhere so right here we get a reference to the bottom panel so let's go just above that and declare a game object that we'll call bottom panel and I will do bottom panel is equal to container dot transform dot get child dot get child like that dot game object and now this way we can replace this long line by bottom panel dot get component dot text let's actually test this out see if we haven't broken anything and uh, nope, it's still there and it's still working like it used to. So we haven't broken anything and we pretty much just grab a reference to the the object we want to use down here. So what we'll do is say bottom panel dot get component and we're going to get the, I think it's the image component. I'm not sure. Is it the image component? Yep, it's the image component dot source image or I think it's called sprite. Okay, so dot sprite is going to equal borders at the index uh, and that's the first one so that would be border at the index 0, 1, 2. So the gold border like so. Now if it's the silver then we put the border at the index 1 and if it is the bronze we put border at the index 0. Let's actually remove this because it was only to look at it. Now we hit play and we get a null reference error. Let's go see what's the issue. So I just realized that we went a little bit too deep so um, the bottom panel is actually pointing towards best time which is not the bottom, the bottom panel itself. So the image is on the parent object and we're pointing towards this object. So we either got to go um, back in this code and just remove one get child, add one over here, or we could go down here and do get component in parent. Let's just try it out, see if it works. So I'll be changing it here and here and here. Let's press play and see if it crashes. So I think it does not crash actually and I'm wondering is that the gold time or is it the bronze time we can't really see because of the alpha so I will simply click on it and it seems like it is border texture zero so that's the bronze time that's actually accurate now let's complete the level try to do it quickly um, I don't remember what the, the time was for this guy, so I will go ahead and just check it after that. Hopefully I've beaten it. And okay, I have did 14 seconds and that didn't seem to beat it, so let's go ahead and just change it manually because I'm not good, right? 
So the time is going to be silver, um, in between silver and gold. So nine seconds. Let me try again. Okay, so that's silver, that's a little bit more obvious. Now let's try with gold, so seven seconds. And here is gold. Okay. Now what we can do though to make this look more um, apparent is go inside of the level button prefab under bottom panel we will go and change the color bump up the alpha to 255 now we should actually see it quite clearly so that's gold time okay now what else could we be doing to this we could be changing the font size or the font color or maybe even both or we could actually work on our texture um, I will go ahead and just quickly make a border by pasting this in then I will zoom in like so and make this a little bit darker in the inside so maybe like that and I don't want it to look like bronze but make it a little bit darker so same thing here duplicate scale it inward And uh, let's try to actually make it darker. So I'm going to pick this color by holding Alt and crank this down like so. Same thing for gold. Uh, not gold, I mean bronze. Duplicate. Move it like that. Take the color and make it even more dark like so. Right, if we go ahead and just save as, we save as a PNG and we override the image we had which was under artwork, texture, border texture. I will also save the PNG and let's go see in the game. Okay, cool. Now uh, we need to do some little, little work on the positioning of these objects but I believe that this is actually going to work just fine and um, let's go ahead and put the bronze time in there so 11 seconds right good so I, I like that quite a lot actually and that's uh, that's I believe is going to be pretty much it for this episode guys if you learned something or if you enjoyed the video just leave a like I really appreciate that if you have any comment or question you can also leave them uh, in the comment section below. As always, the PNG file is going to be on Facebook that you can find in the description below. And uh, yeah, so guys, thanks all for watching and I will see you in the next episode.